In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a rainbow glitter sticker effect inside of Photoshop. You can definitely use this in web design, uh, social media graphics, and really anything. But I specifically like this glitter effect for digital planners and for digital scrapbooking. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing uh, I'm going to do is show you how to incorporate this or use this with shapes. And then I'll show you how to do this text effect as well. You can tell here that the stroke on the outside is very different. Let me go ahead and zoom in. On this first one, the uh, outside is much more of a foil. And uh, on this second one, then you're getting more of a translucent shimmer. And I'll show you how to make both of those here. We're creating this for digital use. So if we're starting here with a 1000 pixel by 1000 pixel document. It's 72 PPI. I'm going to go ahead and unlock the background. Okay, let's go ahead and set up our background colors. The first color we're going to be using is B6, B7, and B8. And that's going to be this um, mid-range gray. And then our background color is going to be D. E, D, E, D, E, and this is another gray color as well. We're going to come over to the gradient tool and make sure that you're on radial gradient. Uh, mode, normal, opacity, everything is okay. So I'm going to go ahead and flip these so I can have uh, this lighter color on the inside. So we're going to come over to somewhere near the center and then just drag this out to roughly the size of the canvas. So about right there. So we're going to get something that looks like this. It's very, very subtle, but this is going to be our background. Okay, now we're going to add another layer. Before we go any further, we're going to have to create the pattern itself that we're going to use. All right, with this layer, we need to fill the layer. So we're going to go Command and Delete or Control and Back on a PC uh, just to fill that with any color. Now we're going to double click over here to bring up our layer styles and we're going to add a gradient overlay. Okay, here we're going to go ahead and set the gradient uh, to something like a rainbow. You can get a lot of these uh, here to include that. So these are all just the rainbow colors. I'm going to choose this. This is called spectrum. So I'm going to use the spectrum. I'm going to click OK. Our settings here are going to be a blend mode normal, opacity 100%, our gradient of course the spectrum style is going to be linear and our angle uh, right now is at 130. This is really up to you the direction that you want your pattern to fall in. We're going to go ahead and just leave it uh, right there. That's fine and we're going to let it scale to 100% and click OK. Now we're going to right click on the layer and choose rasterize layer style. With this we're going to come up to filter, noise, add noise and we're going to leave the noise at about 40 maybe we'll bring it down to about 35 or so so you're going to get something that looks like this okay now we're going to come to edit define pattern and we're going to call this pattern rainbow glitter click ok okay i'm going to just go ahead and bring this down to the bottom and turn it off. You can delete it at this point. We already have it saved as a pattern, so we don't need it anymore. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and add a shape. So uh, right here where you have the rectangle, all of these, you'll have this one is called custom shape tool. I'm going to choose that. And Photoshop has a whole bunch of default shapes, including this butterfly and animals and things like that, that lend really well to this type of design. Uh, so if you come over and you'll see animals, arrows, artistic, all of this stuff, the butterfly that we're going to be using is in nature. So you can upload that one. So I'm going to grab this butterfly and just drag out the shape on the screen. Our fill is fine at black. I don't want it to have a stroke, so I'm just going to turn the stroke off. Now that we have our shape, we're going to go ahead and add two more layers, blank layers. And we're going to bring this above those two blank layers. This one is going to be our glitter border. And this one is going to be a laser cut. Okay, we're going to come back up to this uh, butterfly shape and we're going to press Command or control on the keyboard. When you see that little square come up, you can click 
that will make a selection of the butterfly. We're gonna come over to Glitter Border. This is just a blank layer at this point. Now we're gonna come up to Select, Modify, and we're gonna expand our selection about 10 pixels. Click OK. We're on the Glitter Border. We're gonna come up to Filter, Render and Clouds. And now filter, noise, and add noise. Uh, amount at 35% is fine. We can bring it up a little bit more. Our distribution is uniform and we have a monochromatic checked off. Now this right here is just gonna be uh, based on preference. You can have a darker glitter like that more fine glitter or you can do what I'm doing and just bring it up to have high shine glitters. So I'm gonna leave it at, a, at 70 is fine. Click OK. Okay, now we're gonna come back up to select, modify, expand this again and we're gonna expand by another 10 pixels. Click OK. Now we're gonna choose this laser cut. This is a blank layer at this point. We're gonna go ahead and press Command and Delete on a Mac or Control and Back on a PC. We're just adding, uh, we're just filling that selection there with this white color. And now we can uh, Command in the letter D to deselect that. So this is what we have at this point. Uh, we're gonna double click over here to bring up layer styles for the laser cut layer. And we're gonna add a stroke to that. So the stroke is gonna be two pixels. We want that uh, on the center. We're gonna leave the blend mode at soft light, opacity 100%. Our fill type is gonna be color and our color is gonna be D, E, D, E, D, E. So something very, very light, like a light gray color. We'll click OK and we'll click OK again. Now we're gonna come over to the fill and we're gonna drop that down to 0% for this laser cut layer. That's gonna leave us with this very thin outline that you see here. All right, so now we're coming back up to our original shape layer and we're gonna double click and we're gonna add a pattern overlay to that. So we're gonna choose this last one that we just created. And while we still have this open, we're gonna make some modifications to where we have that. So I think I like um, this, this kind of like blue, purple, pink look. So we're gonna go with that. Click OK. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the second one. This is gonna be the text. So I'm gonna add the text right away. I am using Montserrat Black and we have it at 115. I can take that up a little bit more. So we'll leave that at 125 and our spacing between letters is at 125. We can bring that to 185 for this. I'm going to go ahead and put these in a group just uh, so we can focus on this uh, the text right here that we're working on. So let's go ahead and turn that off and we'll come back up here. So now that we have our text laid out the way we want it, I'm gonna add those two blank layers and I'm gonna move this text layer over them. Again, just like before, this is gonna be our glitter border and this is gonna be our laser cut. Okay, so we're gonna come back up here and we're gonna go Command and click to uh, make a selection of that. We're gonna come up to Select, Modify, expand. This time we're gonna expand only five pixels. Click OK. We're coming to the, the glitter border layer that we have here and we're gonna do that same thing here. I'm gonna change this to a little bit lighter. So our top color is gonna be 4A, 4A, 4A and our bottom color is just gonna be white. So that will be our foreground background color. Now we're gonna come to filter render clouds. Now this is uh, where we're gonna get that translucent look that we, so before with this one, we have this like really high shine glitter 
uh, look with this one we're going to go more translucent so we'll come to filter pixelate and we're going to choose pointillize and you see how you're getting that rainbow ish uh, color in there our cell size is going to be three that's the very minimum cell size uh, so we're going to bring it all the way down click ok okay so we still have this selection here so we're going to come back up to select modify expand and we're going to expand it by five more pixels click ok we're going to come to the laser cut and command and delete or control and backspace um, just to fill that just like we did before this we're going to add that same stroke here so we've got uh, actually one pixel for this one and you can come back and change it if it's too thin or too thick so don't worry too much about that setting we'll just see what it looks like and then move on from there uh, our color de 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 click ok okay and then our fill is going to come down to zero for this layer now we can deselect we're going to come over to the rainbow and double click and insert our pattern for this one let's go to the pattern and make sure that it fits in there properly so we're going to get a little bit of that green in there we have some purple in there so we're good we're going to click ok you can use this these steps to create any type of sticker it doesn't have to be a shape inside of photoshop it doesn't have to be text it could be a pretty much anything so i'm going to grab this i'm working with the butterfly shape here i'm going to grab this one and this one the glitter border and the butterfly shape itself and i'm going to merge those so command e or control e to merge that we're going to leave that outline alone and with this i'm going to come over to this we'll go with the polygon lasso um, but we're going to just grab a section of this it's probably better with this polygon because you can get really straight lines here so uh, I, I just made a selection here of this part of the wing and i'm going to go command x to remove that from that layer and command V to paste it on its own layer and we're going to bring it back up over here and now we're going to come to edit transform and we're going to rotate that 180 degrees and then match this up right here so I'm going to zoom in and make sure that it is actually matching okay all right once you have that matched up we're going to add a gradient to this so we're going to double click here and we're going to click on gradient overlay and we're using these uh, foreground background colors this is like a dark ish gray and a white color uh, we're going to come over to this gradient and we're going to choose foreground background uh, we're going to figure out what the best angle is going to be so we want the dark color to lay flat on the bottom right here so i think 124 for this particular one is going to be okay uh, blend mode normal opacity 100 percent linear angle 124 scale 100 and we're clicking okay i'm going to right click and rasterize this layer and now i'm going to go command and click to select it be on my keyboard to get to my brush tool i want to go with a soft brush though so i'm going to click on this uh, soft round brush here change the opacity of the brush about like 50 percent and our flow to about 50 percent as well come in here and just kind of get around this top section right here so we want to make this a little bit darker and we want to make this area right here a little bit darker click on this shape now so uh, we're done here we're going to come over here click on that and i'm going to add a new layer and then put it right under uh, this layer right here so that's that and then our new layer is right under it right above our butterfly layer i'm going to go ahead and reset those and get the black color and then i'm going to add shadow underneath this if you like this video make sure to like share and subscribe and visit prettywebs.com for more design resources for your blog and business 
Until next time, thanks for watching.